Hey everybody, Pastor Jason and Pastor Luke here with you on this Life Change Daily Devotional. Pastor Luke, we have been talking yes, sir. about kingdom mobilization. We spent two days on the go of mm-hmm. kingdom mobilization. I want to talk today about the grow yes, sir. of kingdom mobilization. Here's the thing. I, I heard a, a, a leader say one day, I wish I, I wish I had looked it up so I could give him proper credit, but I can't remember. But he said, this is what he said. He said, you, you don't get old by aging. You get old when you stop learning. That's good, man. Goodness gracious. The day that you stop learning That's is true. the day that you get old. Yes, sir. See, there's a there's a point, you know, and and uh as we're as we're coming uh as we're coming up uh, physiologically till uh for males it's till about <clears throat> age 25 to 27 for females it's somewhere around age 22 to 24 where your mind is still your brain is actually still soft there is a there is a receptivity as a matter of fact uh there was a many years ago or probably about 10 12 years ago people were starting to get uh really getting into the whole thing of getting your brain to start growing and find things to do to to actually mm-hmm. decrease your brain age is what they were yeah. working on things to things to get your mind thinking because what happens is over time there's a part where we stop learning and when we stop learning it gets increasingly difficult there that you know a lot of people will use the use the term you can't teach an old dog new tricks <laughs> And because there's a point where we get so set in our yeah. ways, but but set in our ways sounds like stuck to me. Oh, it is. it is. And so when we're talking about being kingdom mobilized, what we have to understand is, is that in, in the kingdom, we will never stop growing because the day we stop growing, we start decaying. That's right. And That's the kingdom right. is not about decay. The kingdom is about life and the yes, kingdom sir. is about peace and it's about righteousness. So, so today, as we get into this, you and I were talking before, and 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 uh, and there's a, a very specific part of scripture that talks about what it means to be growing in the kingdom. Can you take us there this morning? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, first Corin- or excuse me, yeah, first Corinthians uh, in the third chapter, the uh, fifth verse. We start there. Uh, he says, "Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos?" This is Paul obviously the apostle? Paul Apollos was the pastor of the Corinthian church. Mm-hmm. Paul planted it. Apollos was overseeing it. So, who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers through who you believe, mm. as the Lord gave to each one. I, Paul, planted. Apollos watered. But God gave the increase. My God. So then, neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters. But God who gives the increase. Watch this, though. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his own reward according to his labor. Let's just read the next two verses. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. According to the grace of God, which was given to me as a wise master builder, I laid the foundation, and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. Woo! So in, in this verse, what you have My God. is you have people who are saying, I'm Paul's boy. I'm Paul's disciple. Yeah. I'm Paul's son. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, then, and then other people who have come into the Corinthian church after being saved, they say, no, no, no. I don't know who Paul is. Apollos is our pastor. I'm Apollos' boy. Uh, and I'm not going to listen to Paul's letters because I'm of Apollos. Mm. And Paul's people are saying, I'm not going to listen to Apollos preaching. I'm of the apostle. Wow. And Paul's sitting here saying, you know, it does not matter about any of that. We did our jobs, but God gave the increase. Yes, yes. But when we talk about growing in the kingdom, there's a there's a principle that's revealed here. And, and, and really, it's revealed since the beginning of time. Mm. Um, it, it's called seed, time, and harvest. Ooh, come on. So when I got called to... Well, everybody's called to preach the gospel, but God revealed to me that I would preach the gospel behind the pulpit mm-hmm. uh, a, 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 as a full-time uh, a pastor. Yes. And there was something that they planted in me. Mm-hmm. But I did not wake up the next morning and get a microphone right. in a pulpit <laughs> and, and two hours to preach. Right, right. So th- there were things in me that had to be watered, that yes. had to be grown, that yes. had to be cultivated. And 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 to to and still are so that I can grow my calling and my purpose and all that yeah. stuff. But a lot of times in the kingdom, we look because 
we're people of vision, we're people of fire. We look into the future and have mm -hmm. a set mind of mm -hmm. this is going to look this way and this is going to happen this way. Yeah. And so anything that is not that, we're like, well, that's not, you know, that's not, that's whatever. I'm just running towards this. But uh, in the kingdom, an essential part of growing what's been planted in you, sometimes you have to, you have to plant. Mm -hmm. You have to water, mm -hmm. you have to till, mm -hmm. you have to weed. Yes. You have to you have to go in and you have to to, to give specific care. Yes. So we, we, we say we want to go for Christ. We want to go for God. Mm -hmm. And God's sitting there saying, Yeah, I know you want to preach, but I need you to fix your marriage first. Right. Wow. Okay, I know you want to be in, in, in full time ministry, but I need you to fix this pornography addiction. Yes. First. Come on. I, I know I know that you want to be blessed and I know that you want to have financial abundance. But I need you to stop putting three hundred dollar pair of shoes on the credit card. Mm. Okay, so there mm. are things that 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 a lot of times, and it's so cliche. And I try to stay away from cliche, but it's, things are cliche because they're true. There you go. Um, if you want something to grow, you have to prune it. Mm. You have to prune yes. it. Yes. So I think I think a lot of times in in the kingdom, when we think mobility, we think God, and I see this all the time in youth ministry. God's called me. I want to get a microphone. I want. I want to go. Mm -hmm. I want to go for God. Well, fifteen minutes after the service, you know, cuss somebody out. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean God didn't plant a seed in you. That right. doesn't mean God right. didn't call you. But you have to do serious tending and mm -hmm. serious building. Mm -hmm. Here in, th in in the third chapter of First Corinthians, Paul actually calls us. Uh, he calls us God's building, mm -hmm. and he says this. I've laid the foundation and another builds on it, but let each one take heed how he builds. Yes, on. yes. When we grow in the kingdom, there are specific things we cannot overlook. That's right. Come on. So, so if I'm going to build a house mm -hmm. and I, I spend time on the foundation, the foundation is solid, uh, I, I lay the most intricate, beautiful flooring. I spend the most money I can on paint. Mm -hmm. I deck it out with with furniture and plasmas and playstations, and 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 I do all that. And then I get to the roof and I'm running out of money and I'm running out of patience. Mm -hmm. And I and I go with a with a cheap roofing company um, that wasn't Jackson Metal Roofing because they did wonderful <laughs> work. But <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I go with I go with a, I go with a cheap roof a cheap roofing company that that that's known to cut corners and stuff like that. And uh, they leave they leave a few holes and a storm comes. Mm. It ruins everything. everything. It ruins every yeah. bit yeah. of money, every bit of time, every bit of effort that I've put into mm -hmm. ninety five percent of the other yes. parts of the yes. house. Five percent can ruin your ninety five percent, and that's why Paul says, "Take heed how you grow. Take heed how you build, because there's things in the kingdom." In order to go, we have to grow. Yes. And, and there's things we cannot skip over in that growing process. Yeah, I, I think about it like this, Pastor Luke, that, you know, one of the things that I love to do is to is to disciple people. Yeah. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. if if I was given the choice, I man, I love <clears throat> preaching and I love discipling people. But if, if somebody told me you can do one or the other for the rest of your life, 10 out of 10 times, yeah. I would choose discipling people. Mm -hmm. That's just, it's just inside of me. And here's the thing that we do inside of discipleship, because somebody will have a call, and so they'll put themselves un, uh, under your leadership and 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 under your discipleship, under your mentorship, and and very early on, what will happen is uh, inside of discipleship, you know, I, man, pastor, I feel I feel a tremendous call to preach on my life. I feel the call to full time ministry. That's fantastic. So, I'm, hey, listen, why don't you come up and see me on Thursday afternoon? And by the way, wear some clothes you can work in. Mine will be blown. <laughs> Blowing Joker's mind. Wear, wear some clothes you can work in. Because early on in ministry, I'm going to teach you to stack chairs. Yeah. Early on in ministry, <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna clean a room out that that gets gets junk piled up in. Yeah. Early on in ministry, we're gonna go and we're gonna we're gonna replace light bulbs. We're going to fix gutters. Yes, sir. Early on in ministry, we're going to dig holes. Yes, sir. You're right. Early on in ministry, right. we're going to we're going to we're going to wipe something down. Then then we're going to work to the part where I'm going to I'm going to while while we're working, I'm going to say, "Tell me what your devotional life looks like." Yeah. 
And then I'm going to give you a plan. If you don't already have a plan, not gonna I'm going to give you a plan for your yeah. devotional life. Yeah. Because what we're going to do is, and, and here's the thing. I haven't given you permission to preach yet. I, ha I haven't set a you're, date. You're I haven't, real, I haven't put a microphone. But you're what real. I'm doing is I'm putting all of these things in place because what I've, what I've watched what I have seen over the course of my life is, is that if I if I take somebody with a call and I put them straight out there with a microphone, but I don't give them the fundamentals of ministry, I don't give them the serving part, I don't give them the I don't give them the working part, I don't give them the yeah. part that says, "Hey, listen, every day, every day, not for everybody else, but for me, I've got to be in this word." Yeah, yeah. I mean, man, I uh, I'm gonna speak kind of openly about something that I have never publicly shared this with anybody other than my. Mm. So here you go. You know, here we go. Get the inside edition right here. I think. I think. I, and if I, if I, if I speak, uh, if I speak unbecomingly. Well, then the glory be to God. But uh, so so openly, y'all don't judge me. Openly, uh, when the fantastic, fire breathing, uh, prophetic man of God that blessed this house in that position before me, mm -hmm. Pastor Darren Mon, yeah, gift from God brought oh, healing, brought God. ministry. If you're watching this, God bless you, Pastor Darren. Thank yeah, you for everything. Thank you. Done. We love you. But when they first hired that amazing man of God, I almost left this church. Mm. Mm. There was a spirit that rose up inside of me that said, that should have been me. Mm. That should have been me. Wow. And then I had people come along and say, you know, I'll take you. You have a spot here. Mm. I can get you a spot here. Mm. Now, now, you might have to change a little bit about how you do things. But I'll have you a spot here. Mm, wow. Um, and, and and there were things, man, I was I'd had dreams. I'd had dreams in the time they hired him that I knew were from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. About me being the youth pastor. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't vocalize this to anybody, but I didn't go to Pastor Jeremy. I didn't go to I, I went to my then fiance. Yeah. But I didn't want to cause division. Yeah. So, yeah. so there was something and I came to a point of, I was so mad. I was so, you know, I'd had prophetic words, man. And I was so, so mad. And, and that mindset of they're holding you back. They don't want you. Mm. They're jealous, mm. which is so wrong. Yeah. But, but, but all that, that came. And the moment that spirit broke was this, was this moment. I sat down and I said, well, this is how it is. I have two choices. I can either be offended mm. or I can not. Yeah. And I'm not going to be offended. Go ahead. <laughs> but when I, when I said that, when I made that decision, the Spirit of the Lord Revealed started a long series that I don't even have time to go into of, of, of revealing things in me. Mm. So the first one he revealed was, do you realize I've put a man of God that has sat under great men of God to mm -hmm. pour into you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 he came. Yeah. And poured in not only to the youth group, but personally yes. poured into me and deposited in me something that I was missing before yes, he was there. So yes, that now he could further me. Yeah. So 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 he he was there. He was there to mold me. Yes. To send me to grow me. Yeah. And, and that and then then he brought uh, up some things of 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 past past incidences in my life where I looked at the shortcomings of of other men and and tried to use. Uh, tried to use shortcomings of other men as stepping stones mm. um, to, mm. to enter into what I thought God had called wow. me, what I knew God had called wow. me. Wow, what a prophet! And, and and so he he you know there there were things revealed uh, 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 through the Holy Spirit in me that 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 were there that were seeded. Yeah, and he began to pluck those roots. Back. He began to pluck those roots Thank out. God. He began to prune Thank my God. call. He began to he began God, to mold mold what was inside of me, and I came to a place where where I said, uh, God, uh, I'm here. Whenever you want to use me, however you want to use me, mm. for whatever you want to use me, yeah, I'm here. This thing's not about me. As a matter of fact, the 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 last thing. The last thing, Pastor Jason, that had to be broken off of me was that night that I was supposed to preach in the in the main sanctuary. Mm. And uh, I remember that. And, oh yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm not trying to get sentimental here. Go on, get sentimental. Four eleven eighteen. It's not about you. It never will be. Oh. 
So, so that was the last thing that had to be broken off of me so that I could grow into a state where God could, God could put me in a wow. place. And, and, and so there, there are things, there are things that there are processes that are painful that dig up our past, yes. that dig up our junk, that dig up our, our own sinful, prideful, greedy heart and, mm-hmm. and, and, and bring us in a place where we're prostrate before God. Mm-hmm. But that is the that is the place. Yes. That is that is the garden where God's tilling you, where yes. God's growing you. Shoo. And so if I would have skipped over that, yep. I might, you know, I, I'm not saying I had this offer. But if I would have skipped over that, who knows? I could be in a I could be in a place with a thousand member youth group making four hundred thousand dollars a year, and uh, I would I would be, I, I would I would be uh, I would be an enemy of the cross. Yes, yes. I would have I would have preached the gospel for personal gain. Yeah, it would be about me. Yep. it would be about my show. It would be about my thing. It would be about my my doing and me getting noticed. And 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 that's what God had to to root out of me. And yes. so I know it's, I know it's, uh, I know it's cliche, but, uh, you know, when you're, when, when you're doing that, when that process is coming up, every seed that's planted is planted in dirt. Mm. Every tree that's grown was once in dirt. And the dirt's got nutrients you need. So mm-hmm. let the dirt do its work. My God, you know? what a word. Pastor Luke, take us to prayer today. That we would we would submit ourselves to the process yeah. and allow God to be the one that brings the yeah. growth. Yeah. Can you do that yes, for sir. us? Father, in the name of oh, Jesus, baby, I love, love you and I thank you, oh God. Son, I thank you that every gifting, every calling, every anointing that you May give is not really about or for us. It's about and it's for you and for your purpose and for your kingdom and for your gospel. God, I thank you that you are releasing and dropping yes. mantles yes. in this time. Yes, Lord. I thank you that we're in a house that is raising yes, up preachers Lord. and prophets and apostles yes, and, Jesus. and teachers, oh God, yes, God, and missionaries. But 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 Lord, I pray that every person listening yes, to this broadcast would be begin to submit themselves yes, to a growing God. process. Yes, God. Lord, I know you've planted the seed, but, yes, but God, as, as you know, God, and as God, you've revealed to me, it, 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 there is a process it, it, that must happen. There are things that must be broken. God, when I was sitting and I was listening to ministers say this, I didn't want to hear it because I thought they had arrived, God. But I pray in the name of Jesus, by your spirit, reveal supernaturally that there is a process we must walk through in order to do what you have called us to do, God. I pray up Uproot greed, uproot yes. bitterness, uproot jealousy, yes. offense, malice, backbiting, yes. gossip, yes. slander, uproot evil intentions and pride and selfishness. Mm. God, I pray, mm. uproot lusts of the flesh, oh yes, God. God. And I pray that we would uh, get a mindset yes, that it God. is not about us. Mm. Even though you have given it mm. to us, it's not about us. Us, yes, oh God. Lord. Jesus, when you came to this earth, it was not about you. When you died on a cross, it was not just about you. You didn't die on a cross yes, to Lord. save yourself. Yes, you died Lord. on a cross yes, to Lord. save us. For the Son of Man did not come to be, to, did not come to be served, but to serve, oh God. So I pray in yes, the name Jesus. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Jesus. That we would submit ourselves yes, to the God. process of pruning. Yes, God. The process of growing. The process of tending yes, what you have God. placed on the inside of us in the mighty name of hey, Jesus. Lord, we love you. It. We bless you and we thank you for this. Amen. Thank you, God. As he was praying, the Spirit thank of the Lord you, brought Holy this Spirit. scripture thank to my you, mind. And uh, I want to read it to you. It's oh, Proverbs 15, 22. It says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Mm. 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 without counsel purposes are disappointed you have a purpose and a destiny over your life without counsel purposes are disappointed but in the multitude of counselors they are established find if you've been neglecting your interest group if you're in this house you've been neglecting your interest group get to your group if you've been neglecting services Get to services. If you've been neglecting Wednesday nights, uh, half your Sunday mornings, get back get back into this thing again. If if you go to another church, if you've been neglecting your Sunday school, if you've been neglecting what whatever it is, whatever pride nonsense has you 
and uh, outside of that. Mm. Without counsel, your purpose is disappointed. But in a multitude of counselors, purposes are established. Thank you. Let the Spirit of God put a desire for growth in you that you will that you will attach yourself to people who can bring good counsel into your life. Thank you for joining us today. We bless you in the name of the Lord, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Pastor Jason here. We want to thank you for joining us for today's devotion. Remember to share it across your social media platforms. If you live in the South Atlanta area or the North Macon and Forsyth areas and you are looking for a great church where the power and the presence of God are on display, we would love to have you visit us at our Revival Center campus in Locust Grove, Georgia, or our Forsyth campus in Forsyth, Georgia. You can find information about these locations at our website, AbundantLifeChurch.com. Remember, it's time to stretch yourself. It's time to dream bigger. It's time to believe for the impossible. It's time to expand.